Hello minions, uh, welcome to another video. I'm gonna do another gameplay commentary here. Um, this time, as I mentioned in my last Cold War beta video, this is Dirty Bomb. I'm just gonna play this whole uh, match of Dirty Bomb. Did I, did the game record? I got dropped in and kicked right back out. This, this was during a live stream too, so. Uh, don't mind that. I guess it's Alpine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there were some beta issues. We're going to try and focus this one. I talked about uh, general kind of gameplay stuff and beta issues, especially related to online multiplayer in the last video. In this video, I'm going to focus on stuff related to Dirty Bomb specifically and how that's going to relate to Warzone, because clearly Dirty Bomb is inside of the Warzone engine because it's a larger map with larger objectives. Um, there's the armor mechanic. There's the loot box mechanic, and then there's doors, <laughs> which is something that doesn't exist inside of um, inside of the multiplayer uh, gameplay. So, uh, in this game, you know, for Dirty Bomb, for those of you who don't know, the way the Dirty Bomb works is there's five bombs, I believe, on the map, and you have to collect uranium and deposit twenty uraniums into a bomb to activate it for blowing up and then you have to activate the bomb which with one person takes forever if you have up to your four man squad if you have all four people at the bomb while one person trying to activate it it activates in like five seconds or something like maybe 10 seconds it's pretty fast but if it's just one person by yourself it takes like 30 seconds it's an eternity um but the point is when you deposit uranium when you detonate bombs, you get points. The first team to 500 points wins the game. There's whatever, however many teams there are. You know, there's squads of four. I think there's ten squads of four, I think. Um, doesn't matter. Uh, point being, that's the game. That's the gameplay mechanic. Uh, but clearly, it's, it's uh, Warzone. So this is, as I mentioned before, um, this plays very in a very similar way to Plunder in Warzone, in Modern Warfare's Warzone. Um, in that you're trying to collect things in plunder it's money in this it's uranium and then you turn that in I don't know what was going on here that guy was like stuck prone in the sky and I downed him and killed it I don't know what that was about betas am I right um, but I got hey I got that kill um, yeah so so again the down mechanic again this is definitely war zone right so and the chopper gunner uh, these kill streaks that drop out of boxes. We'll start there. In this, there's some things specific to this game mode that won't apply to Warzone in general, but I'm going to talk to them in this game mode specifically. One, lots of kill streaks drop out of the loot boxes that are on the ground, right? Napalm strikes, chopper gunners, attack helicopters, like all kinds of stuff. Um, RCXDs. There's an, there I pulled a napalm strike out of a box, and I think I was like, I'm going to hold on to it. The next box I pulled had like a sentry gun, and I'm like, well, shit, I want to pick that up too. So I gotta splash this napalm, right? Because I wanted to use the sentry gu gun to protect an objective. So I'll just, okay, I'll just drop a napalm and then grab that sentry gun. Too many score streaks, kill streaks, just sitting in boxes for people to pick up. And the chopper gunner is ridiculous. In another video, I'll probably put some clips together for all the clips I've been capturing. Um, oh, neck twitch there, sorry. Uh, I pulled a chopper gunner out of a box and I killed I think I counted 14 or 15 people in whatever, however long it's active, like 60 seconds. Ridiculous um, that you can just put, pick that out of the box. Um, this gameplay is pretty good. I think I think I only die once or twice in this, and then our team gets like third. Spoiler alert: uh, I have not. I don't think I've been in a game that won. We won one of these. I haven't been with a team that's coordinated, and it's a little fucking hectic. Um, Anyway, backtracking. Score streaks, one bad thing about this. The other bad thing about this, inexplicably, no ammo anywhere on the map. And people, as far as I can tell, players don't drop their weapons either. So you can't find ammo on the... There's no ammo in the boxes. There's no ammo sitting on the ground like in normal Warzone. There's uh, no way to pick up. If you kill someone, they don't drop their guns. So you can't just swap out guns and get ammo that way. Uh... I'm not sure if scavenger would work in this game mode. I didn't really mess around with that. Um, but, yeah, no ammo. So my biggest, you know, the, the biggest thing that ended decent streaks in this game mode was I just completely ran out of ammo. I think that happens in this. 
Um, I'll run out of com I'll complete run out of ammo for both weapons, and you can't find any ammo, and you can't find any replacement weapons. So you just run around with your knife until you, you get killed. Um, not great mechanic there in general. Um, obviously, I don't think that's going to apply to Warzone. They're going to have I can't imagine they not have ammo in Warzone. But even for this game mode, I could maybe understand where there's a balance mechanic because you can kind of sit above um, objectives and kind of kill horror. Having the ability to restock your ammo might exacerbate that problem, so this artificially causes everybody to die pretty regularly. Even if you get on a kill streak, you're gonna die because you'll run out of ammo. I don't know the logic behind it, but it's fucking stupid and awful, and it was the biggest thing, um, even more so than the score streaks dropping out of boxes that, that killed this mode for me. Um, it's a good gameplay mode, like a uh, teamwork-based mode. Forcing people, especially when things get down to the last dirty bomb, um, all of these teams are trying to activate that last bomb and it gets really hectic, it can, which can be a really bad thing if you're not on a well-coordinated team, or it can be a really challenging thing if you're on a well-coordinated team, but it's still a little irritating. But the point being, it comes to kind of a crescendo, and then once all the bombs have been detonated, then it spawns more bombs, and then that cycle repeats until someone hits the, the high score. At this point, we were leading. We detonated, what, like two bombs right out of the gate. So my team was, you know, at least kind of paying attention to, to what the objective was supposed to be. Um, but in general, I enjoyed the gameplay of Dirty Bomb. Uh, the Krieg was... I didn't play with tons of weapons, but the Krieg has just kind of, like, started to stand out as, like, the higher power assault rifle. Um, so it works well for Warzone. Well, there's a Dirty Bomb. Whatever. I'll use this interchangeably. You know what I mean. The M4 is a little bit more close range in this, uh, so the M4 can be... M4 and the Krieg are both great in multiplayer, um, and I think even in multiplayer the Krieg probably has a slight advantage uh, at anything outside of close range, and at that point the M4 only has an advantage over the Krieg, and it doesn't have an advantage over SMGs. Anyway, get distracted. Point being, I mostly use the Krieg for, uh, for Dirty Bomb, and, uh, and it worked well. Um, you engage at medium to long... well medium to medium long range and uh, it works well but you run out of ammo super fast already I've got the thing down to 20, 20 rounds left uh, and then for because of that because of that mechanic of not having ammo the only the build I ended up always using for uh, dirty bomb was to run uh, lawbreaker I think is what it's called where you get two primary weapons because you have just for the ammo, you need to have two primary weapons. And, yeah, so so I'm usually running the Krieg and the M4. I played around a little bit with running like a combination of like a, uh, an assault rifle and a sniper, or like an assault rifle and an SMG. But just because of the, the, the engagements and the fact that you can't find ammo, it's not like take, an, take two versatile weapons. Um, I would have taken two Kriegs if I could. <laughs> it's not like take two versatile weapons and... Uh, and you know, use one for close range or one for ultra long range, right? Like you would on a war zone build. It's like, no, you just need two assault rifles so you have enough ammo, you know, double the ammo to be able to just do what you normally do. Um, you can't really afford to take an SMG. I whip my M4 out here, the guy parachutes on me. You can't really afford to take an SMG for close range engagements because most of your engagements are gonna be at longer range and you need those assault rifles and you need two of them. So. There was a that, that that limitation of this game mode really kind of threw a big monkey in the wrench, <laughs> a big wrench in the works. Um, you can see the M4, especially at longer range. Not great accuracy with the way I have it built because I kind of need the the extra ammo. I'm running like I think the ammo attachments. Anyway, I'm getting a little too focused on that part of it. But overall, the gameplay feels good. It feels fine. The time to kill feels pretty war zone ish. Um, Matter of fact, the time to kills are probably slightly longer uh, than they are in Modern Warfare's Warzone, which I like. This time to kill for Warzone feels better. It feels a lot less like you could get just melted um, like you do in Warzone sometimes with some of those higher time to kill weapons. Um, so I like that, and I really enjoyed the game mode. Especially early on in the beta, there were really bad connection issues. Experienced a lot of lag and a lot of issues related to that, which I won't hold against the game mode. I don't know if early in the beta they were using like test servers, and then later in the beta maybe they switched to production servers, and those were better. The bait, the the connection stability in the beta seemed better towards the end, uh, including for Dirty Bomb. 
uh, early on. I don't know if there was just more load and maybe a bunch of people just stopped playing because it was so bad and that's why the connections got better. I don't know. I don't know the details of their network uh, health. I do know that as a player the experience was pretty awful uh, early on uh, for Dirty Bomb especially and anytime a bomb would go off the, the servers would lag and it's just not great. And I've heard things from people who play on PC and actually do things like, like keep track of frame rates that there are some potential coding inconsistencies in the engine that can cause some of that stuff. So maybe there's some last minute work that, that Black Ops that they could, the devs can do for Cold War before it releases. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But overall it was pretty fun. Um, because of the teamwork aspect of it, you know, I, I didn't find myself really being drawn to like being addicted to it. And uh, I talked about how in multiplayer, overall with the beta, I didn't really have fun. I didn't come away from the beta being like, I really enjoyed that. And that's true, including Dirty Bomb as well, because even though I enjoyed the gameplay mechanics of it, and I thought it played well, other than the, the shortcomings in the way that the mode was designed, um, it, it played well, but I still, overall, you know, it was very hectic, you know, Without a dedicated team, and even people that have dedicated teams, I've heard talk about how it just gets really hectic at the end. It just, it just didn't really feel gratifying. It didn't feel like there was a whole lot that I could really do as a player um, to give my, to contribute to my team's overall success in the game. I had games where I played really well, like I won most of my gunfights um, until I ran out of ammo, like I'm, like I'm about to here. Um, well, no, I just I get killed here, I think. Anyway, I, yeah, I feel like I did well, but overall it didn't necessarily help the team because if they don't contribute, and even times when I had a good team and I hardly killed anyone, we still would be like, like this game, we were in first for, and it felt like we just kept going, like we're in first right now. It felt like we were really pushing, like my team was really getting a dirty bomb to dirty bomb, and we still ended up dropping to third kind of inexplicably at the end. I don't, like maybe when it got down to that last dirty bomb and everyone's fucking clustered up, that the team that got that last one got a bunch of points and just passed us. Well, actually, we just dropped a second right there. Nah. Point being, it was a little ungratifying, at least from a standpoint of... Um, is this one where I just walk around there's just a guy there? What is that about? Um, a little ungratifying. So, so even though I enjoyed the, the mechanics of the game mode, and I'm optimistic for how that will translate into an improved version of this and Warzone in general for Cold War, I still didn't come away from the beta feeling like I had a great time. I still spent a lot of my time playing the Cold War beta wishing I wasn't playing the Cold War beta. I was like, why am I still playing this? Like, I wanted to get a feel for it. I'm like, I'm not unlocking anything that's going to help me in my actual progression when the game comes out, other than, you know, you get a couple of unlocks for reaching level 10, which I did in the PS4 exclusive part of the beta. Right, I got to level 25 there. I think what I finally got to when I ended, stopped, when I stopped playing the beta, I didn't even max out. I don't even know if you could rank all the way up to whatever 55 but I stopped at like 38 and I knew there were more ranks than that I was just like I'm done I just don't want to play anymore I don't want to spend any more of my time ranking up and again I already know how the game plays I know how the beta version of the game plays right there's nothing more I'm going to get out of it I'm not going to get any more insight into like weapon balance or or power positions and stuff like that because all of that's probably going to shift in retail um, you know as things are rebalanced so I, yeah, I, I had times where I would fire up Cold War and just be like, why am I doing this? I don't even really want to play it. And there were uh, several times when the beta was active that I went, um, well, I was playing some single player games, so I was still finishing Last of Us Part II, uh, which drew me in, although that one I always like to have the lights turned off and, and really settle in and have some time to play it. So if I was just jumping in during the game, I want like a multiplayer game. Um, so a few times I jumped back into Modern Warfare 2, even with the beta active, because it was just like, I'm, I'm just having more fun with that in this beta. Um, again, not a judgment of the overall final version of this game, because, you know, I think, I think this is somewhat representative, but obviously not a final product. So, so I'm not holding that judgment against it, I'm just saying that if they don't fix some things, like a lot of these things, then this isn't going to be a, a very enjoyable game and it won't have the kind of staying power. So I, I always talk about how I really like uh, Treyarch games. That said, when their first entry into the Call of Duty series, which I believe was Call of Duty World at War, which was not a bad game, but I wasn't into World War II, 
Um, it just didn't grab my attention, and so I spent... So I played Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the original COD 4, the original COD 4, the fourth, the fourth original, the first modern warfare Call of Duty game. All of the ones before that were World War II. If you don't know, if you're not, haven't been around playing Call of Duty for 15 years, um, I, I played Modern Warfare, COD 4, and then when World War came out, I played a little bit of it, and it lost my interest, and I went back to COD 4 for the rest of that year until the next, which was Modern Warfare 2, came out, right? Um, as I'm dropping in back in the background again here. I'm working on resizing my camera port. So if not if 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 Cold War doesn't get things right, it could lose my interest and I could go back to Modern Warfare or something else. I mean I guess the new a new battlefield game probably gonna drop sometime next year is the rumor. Um so yeah, so that's the end of that game. Is there like a post game? I'm gonna I I've shared most of my thoughts, so I'm actually gonna wrap this up in a single gameplay, although this was a longer one, this is like seventeen minutes. Um, so, I mean, did you, I guess, reach out to you guys, too. Uh, did you guys play Dirty Bomb? What did you, uh, that's where the gameplay ended. What did you guys think of uh, Dirty Bomb? Um, and if you haven't seen the other video, go watch my one about just general uh, Cold War multiplayer. Are you guys excited for Cold War versus Modern Warfare? How do you think they stack up? How do you think they compare? Um, let me know. You know, I like trying to get a conversation started. Speaking of conversations, check the link in the description. Join the Discord. That's a good place to be able to talk to me, and, and I post in there when I stream and when I'm and when I'm posting videos and stuff like that. Which I need to post in there because I just post a couple of videos. I've been scheduling the videos out. So anyway, join the Discord um, and check out WheezysGaming.com. Uh, I'm I'm now more tightly coupling those so that there's content on the website and it's linked. And it's also a good way to just if you want to just kind of look through the content that I've got. I'm starting to organize it. Um, the website is going to be an increasingly you know fleshed out way to get access to all that so anyway we're going to go ahead and stop there uh make sure you guys if you aren't if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed which i guess happens to some of you uh, subscribe stick around there's gonna there's a lot that's gonna be building here uh, on the channel more things i'm gonna do going forward plus i got like nine years or more ten years of back videos I, you know i kind of died for a couple of years in the middle there um, being a parent having kids but but subscribe to the channel and go dig around in some of my old stuff there's some good stuff and there's a lot of cool new stuff that's going to be coming too so uh, enough I'll talk to you guys later oh, goodbye